Hello kids, welcome to Alpha Geeks. Today we will be continuing with our module on adaptations of animals. Adaptation is a special feature of an animal that it has developed over a period of time in order for it to survive and grow comfortably in its habitat. These features or characteristics allow the animal to find food, to protect itself from enemies, to communicate and to reproduce. Adaptations or features could be of two types, structural or behavioral. Let's look at some structural and behavioral adaptations. Structural adaptations are physical features of an organism that enables them to survive in their environment. Example include a penguin as a blubber to protect itself from freezing temperatures. We have a webbed feet of duck which helps it to swim when in water. Gills of fish is the main respiratory organ of the fish. Teeth of the beaver helps it to chew its food easily. Next, we have the behavioral adaptation. Here, the behavioral adaptations are the actions of an organism that enables it to survive in its environment. Example, bears hibernate in winter to escape cold temperatures and preserve energy. Next, we have wood beavers or wood squirrels which sleep entirely during summer to protect itself from extreme heat. Next, you have chameleon, which camouflages itself to protect itself when in danger. Then we have arctic tern, which migrates to other regions to reproduce. Adaptation in animals. Adaptation in animals are further classified into adaptations to habitat, adaptations to food habits, migration and hibernation, Adaptations for protection. Adaptations to habitat. Habitat is the natural home or environment of a plant, animal or other organism. Types of animals according to their habitats. They are classified into terrestrial animals, aquatic animals, amphibians, arboreal animals and aerial animals. Terrestrial animals are the animals that live on land. They have legs to walk on land and sense organs to feel changes around them. They also find food and escape from enemies. Most of them breathe through lungs. Terrestrial animals can be further grouped into animals living at poles, animals living in deserts, animals living in mountains and animals living in plains. Animals living at poles. The poles are on the top of the earth and the bottom of the earth respectively. North Pole is the northernmost point of the earth and is in the Arctic Ocean. And South Pole is the southernmost point of the earth and is in the Antarctic region. Based on the maps, you can see that the Arctic is an ocean surrounded by land while Antarctica is a land surrounded by ocean on all sides. It is very cold and full of snow at the poles, as these regions receive very less direct sunlight. Therefore, a very few animals can be seen there. Animals found in Arctic poles include Arctic fox, polar bear, Arctic air, snowy owl and Arctic wolf. Animals found in the Arctic sea ice. The typical winter sea ice temperature is approximately minus 20 to 40 degrees Celsius. To live in such harsh weather, let's see how the polar bear have adapted themselves to survive. Polar bear has up to 4 inches of blubber under its fur to keep it warm when it is in the water. Blubber is the thick insulating layer of fat present underneath the skin. It is an important adaptation of marine mammals. The polar bear has small ears and tail. This adaptation minimizes heat loss and also does not allow cold water to enter the ears. Polar bears have white thick fur covering its entire body and black skin which traps the heat from escaping, thus helps it to stay warm in harsh cold weather. 
The white fur also helps it to blend in with snow and ice, thereby protecting itself from danger when in need. Polar bears have large flat paws which act as snowshoes to help walk in the snow and also to avoid slipping on ice. These paws also act as paddles which help them to swim through ice during hunting and swimming. The polar bear can swim for 100 miles. In order to save energy, bears hibernate through the long Arctic winter. Hibernating is a behavioral adaptation that allows the bear to sleep through the harshest part of the year when the temperatures are low and the food is hard to find. Animals found in Antarctic poles. These are whales, seal, penguin and albatross. Penguin is a flightless bird but a strong swimmer found in the Antarctic regions. They have a thick layer of blubber and dense feathers to keep them warm. All 18 species of penguins are flightless but their web feet and streamlined body shape make them excellent swimmers. Penguins have short, stiff flippers that help them swim through the water rather than wings. Penguins live in large communities. They sit close to each other to keep themselves warm and to protect themselves from predators. Camels live in desert which is dry and receives scanty rainfall and at extreme temperatures. That is, it's very hot in the morning and very cold in the night. And that is due to, at the daytime, the sand absorbs heat from the sun and becomes very hot. And during the night, the sand loses all its heat, making desert night cold. Sand is the main reason why deserts are hot during the day and cold during the night. Camel is called the ship of the desert because they are the only means of transport in the desert areas. Animals that live in the desert need to overcome the excessive heat and scarce water availability. For this reason, their body has several adaptations that enable them to bear the intense heat during the day and chilly nights. The skin of the camel is thick. The thick skin protects it from the hot sun. They have long shaggy fur that keeps them warm but they can shed them during hot summer months. Camel has long legs and padded feet. The long legs keep the body away from the hot sand. The padded feet helps to prevent sinking into the sand against its body weight and the weight it carries while transporting people and goods across the desert. Camels sweat very little and passes very little urine and dry dung. This way it conserves water in its body. Since camel does not lose much water, it leaves many days without drinking water and food. Camels have humps on their back which have stored fat inside them. When there is shortage of food, camels use the stored fat inside the hump as a source of energy. Since the hump has fat, it acts to insulate the heat. The hump's fat acts as a blanket to the camel from the heat. Thus, the hump makes the animal stay cool against the hot and harsh climate of the desert. Camels drink a large amount of water up to 200 liters at a time when there is water availability and then stores them in the body. Do you know where do they store them? They store them in their bloodstream. Camels have long eyelashes and hairs that prevent the sand from entering. During sandstorms, the camel's thin and narrow nostrils close to block out the sand from entering it. Desert animals are usually active during dawn or dusk as it is very hot during the day. They usually sleep during the daytime at cooler places. 
Many birds, snakes, lizards, spider, insects also live in the desert. Here are some of the examples. Camel spider, dead stalker scorpion, thorny devil, gila monster, side winder rattlesnake, bobcat, fennec fox, meerkat, lappet faced vulture and sand grouse. Some of the animals living in mountains are the mountain goat, the mule and the yawk. Mountain goat is the largest mammal which lives in the rocky terrains and high altitude habitats. They have special adaptations that allow them to survive in such habitats. These include the furry hair of the mountain goat are white, making it hard to spot them against the snow. Mountain goats have specialized climbing hooves. These hooves allow them to scale sheer rocky cliffs to find food on high slopes. They are very good at climbing. Their hooves also helps to increase speed while running up the rocky mountain for grazing and also protects them from predators. The rough pads on the bottom of each toe provide the grip of a natural climbing shoe. The yak is a long-haired ox which leaves the Himalayan snow mountain. Plain is a broad area of relatively flat land and are the most important landforms found on the earth's surface. Animals living in plains have the advantage of moderate climate, so many animals are found here. The terrestrial animals living in open plains have to depend on speed for searching food and for escaping from their enemies. They have a streamlined body contours which offer least resistance to air while running. They have strong legs and big ears to know their predators nearby. They show migrations for food and water. They live in herds as a form of protection from enemies and harsh climatic conditions and also to look for food or for possible mates. Lacking trees, rocks or other structures to hide behind these animals have often evolved highly effective camouflage, which allows them to hide while in plain sight. Most gazelles, cattle and antelopes are clad in colors that match the grass and surrounding of their open habitats. Elephants, bison, cheetah, gazelle, lion and tigers are some of the large animals living in plains. They are the wild animals. Horse, cow, cat and dog are some of the animals living in plains and they are also known as domestic animals. If you have liked this video then hit the like button and subscribe and don't miss to press the bell icon to get new notifications. Thank you.